the book of Amos. Amos chapter 5, starting from verse 14. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord Yahweh, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord Yahweh of power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, the Lord, the power of hosts, the Lord says, Thus, wailing shall be in all streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas, and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing. And in all vineyards shall be wailing, for I will pass through thee with, says the Lord, Yahweh. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house, and lean his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Hmm? Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Family 2023 is off oh, to a rousing start. And this is what we've been asking for. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekwakodash family says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. It's not a time to put him behind you, keep putting it off. The time will come when you're going to call and the phone is going to be off the hook. You're going to get a busy tone. And that's going to be very, very scary. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. I would like to begin this lesson by giving honor, glory, power praises to the power of our forefathers Abraham and Abraham Isaac and Jacob his name is Yahweh his only begotten son the redeemer of Israel the king of Israel the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah the root and offspring of King David the bright and morning star who is coming to establish his kingdom on this planet here his name is Yahweh Shai who is going to live among his people for the first and the last time. His kingdom is everlasting kingdom. Yahweh Shai, the deliverer, the redeemer of Israel, is coming to establish his kingdom. That is why these nations are about to go to war to destroy themselves before Yahweh Shai comes and finish off the work. Because he says it's just going to take one hour to obliterate all their armies. Revelation 18 tells you one hour, our King Yahweh Shai, along with Michael, the archangel. That's right. They're only going to need one hour to destroy this place. America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. The lake of fire. That's where it's going to be. That's what America is going to turn into. But we are here to prophesy again, to bring the word out. Seek ye the Lord, family. Seek ye the Lord. The nations are about to go to war. On uh, January 1st, we know that I think a number of Russian soldiers were, were killed. I did a lesson on it yesterday. And this is, uh, we were saying that we don't know how the response is going to be. The family it already started. This just dropped on my lap. All praise to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It came through my feet at the, at, at the right time. That's right. Pondering on what to what lesson to get into, and the Lord dropped this on my lap. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So you see, the date on it is 0401 2023. That's right, it's two, 2004. Uh, sorry, it's uh, it's January 4th in some places already. This is the end result. My, Russia is retaliating from the missile that hit the recruit uh officers, the new officers that the uh, that were at uh, 
I thought, what's the, what's the town name again? Oh, it's a Mekiva. Mekiva strike is right in front of me, family. It says here, Russia revenge for Mekiva, uh, Mekiva car. Strike on air on French TV. Apparently, French TV was live around that time. And they actually, they carried this, the strike live. People saw it, family. It's a hundred dead Ukrainians and NATO advisors. NATO advisors, you're talking about CIA, MI6. That's right, family. This is all about to family. The war is right at the door. The third world war already started. Yes, it's already started. And family, we know that this is the last war before the king comes. This is a major prophecy. That's right. This is a major, 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 major prophecy. So we give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash. Family, if I didn't say it, shall warm to you, the hopeful elect, the hopeful elect of Israel. We are living in a beautiful time, a beautiful, beautiful time. Yes, family, the, the world, the third world war is coming. The nuclear war is coming. But yes, family, we, our trust is in our power, Yahweh Bahashem. Family, we are not afraid. The sooner this thing goes down, we, our faith is that our king is going to deliver us because he said it. And family, that should be your faith. We put, we put it on as the elect. That's right. We said hopefully elect that's to show humility. But family, we want to be saved. Day in and day out, we ask the Lord, how long are these wicked people going to be in rulership? We want our kingdom. We want our kingdom. All praises to our power. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh by Hashem. Family, let's get into this article and I have a few precepts. This is not going to be long, family. Like I said, there will be yesterday through the spirit. I said, yeah, there will be retaliation. At what level? We didn't know. But here, family, this is just the beginning. So let's get it. It says this is from War News 24-7. It says, Russia revenge for Makivka strike on air on, on French TV. 100 dead Ukrainians and NATO advisors. H eight Heimers and RM-76 systems were destroyed. Russia missile attack in French Channel Air. It says here, Russia launched a powerful missile barrage in retaliation for the hundreds of dead Russian soldiers in Makivka. The French watched live the destruction of Ukrainian armed forces base filled with CIA, MIS agents, and HIMARS and rm 70 MR, M, MLRS systems. Hmm? It says here, the bombing was broadcast on French television. A Russian missile hit the man hotel while a second hit the ice palace, known as the ice arena in Druzkovka. A third strike followed against the railway station. Hmm? Eyewitnesses reported secondary explosions of ammunition stored at the base. All reports indicate that the Russians hit a gathering of Ukrainian military and Western military advisors. The attack was recorded live on a French television channel. Today, it became known that inside the destroyed building, there are a large number of beds, an indication that they housed a large number of soldiers. The Russian army destroyed the military echelon of Ukrainian armed forces, which was carrying two MLRS HIMARS and four RM-70s, as well as a large amount of ammunition. Russian military source report and add. It says here, the strike took place at the moment when the echelon with the uh, with the MLRS arrived at the Droshkovka station in Do Do uh, Donetsk. This, this, this settlement is under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. The moment of the missile attack was captured by the camera of the French television channel TMC, whose correspondent had just gone live. Isn't that something? The explosion destroyed not only military equipment, and ammunition, but also a large number of personnel. Ukrainian sources report that the losses of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Droskova have already exceeded the 100 mark. It is emphasized that this number is not final. According to other sources in Droskova, as a result of the strike of the armed forces of the Russian Federation, 
the building of the ice arena altar where where ukrainian troops were located was destroyed so family that's just the retaliation this is just the beginning this is just the beginning so not only did they kill ukrainian soldiers they kill uh, cia agents and uh, mi6 agent so family we know that this thing is about to pop off we thank the lord yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rukakudash yes that's why yeah, let's go let's 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 grab up um apostle peter let's go to first is it first peter first peter three ten Is it second Peter? Is it second Peter? I think it's second Peter three ten. Oh yes. Second Peter three ten. It says here, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. Eh? What's the noise that's coming? The nuclear missile family. Once once this thing hit, it's gonna feel it's gonna quake. It's gonna be like earthquakes. It's not just gonna be one. The book of Joel tells you they're gonna be thousands upon thousands upon thousands of warheads hitting America and, and several places around the world. That's what's gonna be the day of the Lord. It says here, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise and the elements. Eh, all your building, all your institution, your big university, your courthouses, eh, all the building that means a lot to these nations, eh, their cathedrals, family, it's going to be on fire. That's what is coming. Everything attached to this wicked kingdom, our king, Yahweh Shai, is going to destroy it. You're not going to have any memory of it because he doesn't want you to see. Because when you see, it, you know what, the last thing you want is, uh, what is it called, uh, PTSD. No. He's going to wipe everything clean. That's why he says he only is going to need one hour though. One hour. Isn't that something? <laughs> that goes to show you the power that our, our king is bringing. With all these angels, it's going to be a beautiful day for the, for the hopeful elect. Not for everybody. It says here, 2 Peter, verse 3, 2 Peter 3.10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Oh yes, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Every family, you live on the soil of America. If you're not the part, of, is not if you are not the hopeful elect, you're gonna be a barbecue. That's what's coming. You're gonna be a barbecue, because when I when it's all said and done, America is gonna be a desert. Nobody's gonna live on that land again. The Lord said it. The same thing he did to Sodom and Gomorrah, that land is still there. Hey? And nobody is able to live on that land. The Lord said it. America is going to be inhabited by woeful creatures. Owls and all type of different animals are going to live on the land. That's the power that we serve. Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It says here, verse 11, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Eh? What manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of our power? You see, you hear that? Hastening. Hastening. This is not a time to be playing Russian roulette with your life. This is the window of opportunity continue to close. Family is getting smaller and smaller. That's why it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. There's a reason why they said that. Because when there were those missiles start flying, this is the time you're calling upon the Lord. No, man, it's too late. Make this right, family. Make this right. We are not all, we're not perfect, family. We are doing our best day in and day out. We're repenting every day. Every opportunity that we get, we're speaking to the Lord. We don't have to have a, a, a prayer, a big prayer. Family, you driving on the street, you know, in your car. You're waiting for somebody. Say a prayer. The Lord will speak to you. You know what I mean? The Lord will, the Lord will hear you. The Lord will hear you. 
let's continue to repent because the days that we are about to enter into is going to be wild, family. And we're going to need all the protection from our power, Yahweh Bashem, to protect us. We have no strength, family. Your bunker, your, your bunkers are not going to save you. Your gold, your diamond, nothing is going to deliver you on that day. Eh? Nothing is going to deliver you. Your riches, no, it means nothing to the Lord. Do you know his name? Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. You out there calling on sweet Jesus? Eh? There ain't going to be no freaking blonde hair, blue eye, pale skin coming to save you. No. The king that is coming as a conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, his so called black man, that's right. Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver his elect. Hmm? And the rest of the nations, that's right, they are going into slavery. They are going to slavery. Mm -hmm. Psalm chapter 2 tells you. It says, ask of me and I'll give you the heathen for thy, inherit, for, for thy heritage. Yeah, what, does that, what do you think that means? They are going to slavery. Psalm, uh, was it, um, Revelation 13, 10. He that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity. What does that mean? Who had us in captivity? These nations. So what does that mean? That he that leads us into captivity must go into captivity. Meaning what? They are also going to serve us in, this, in the kingdom. They're going to build our kingdom. The same way we build their kingdom. It's fair though. You have to say it's fair. You see, the Lord said he hates false balance. You know? It's a false balance abomination to the law. So what does that mean? You know? It has to be balanced. Eh? It's abomination if it has false balance. We serve you and we build your kingdom. You have, the, you have us in slavery. So what is wrong with us having you in slavery? That's what is coming. The Lord said it. And if the Lord said it, <laughs> you better believe it's going to happen. It says here, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of our power, Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire, shall be dissolved mm -hmm. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat that's a if you wanna you wanna an image of what is gonna happen watch the movie i think it was terminator 2 when uh, i think uh Hamo, uh, is it, uh what's the name uh one of the uh, uh, characters what's the name now she was holding the fence uh it's a barbed wire fence she was holding i think she was she, she was in a, she was dreaming and uh, she had a dream that uh, the place was being uh, nuked. That's right. So, family, that's the image. Linda Hamilton. Linda, Linda Hamilton. Just type in, type in Terminator 2. Linda Hamilton dream. That's right, family. That's what's going to happen to America. The lake of fire. That's where it's coming. The family, we are praying. Here, verse 13 said, But nevertheless, we, according to his promise. What's the promise? The promise that we have hope. We have you know, if we, some of us were picked before the foundation of the earth for salvation. That's why we pray that yes, he will, he's going to find us worthy when he comes. That's why you have to give diligent to make your election call. Your, your, your election sure. He like said, give diligent to make your election sure. You know, if you're an Israel, Israelite man, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't be teaching this word and pushing the name of our power. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. You see? You have to push this name. You gotta do your part. If you're a teacher, you you know what? You teach. You know, if you're helping the ministry, say whatever lot the Lord have blessed you with, take it and run with it. You know, take it and run with it. But family, we all working for that penny. The kingdom of heaven. You know? The kingdom of heaven. We're praying that the Lord will find us worthy. You know, because the days are evil. The time that we're about to enter into. Oh, you're going to need all the protection that you want. You know? And he promised he's going to keep us. He says, because you have kept my word, I will also keep you in the hour of temptation. That shall come upon all the earth. It's not just America. It's going to be everywhere. The hour of temptation is what? When they introduce the CHIP. Mm -hmm. Which is, the, and then you put micro in front of it. Revelation 13, 16. And the moment you receive that thing, you are marked for death. It is not for you. It is not for you. 
The Lord is going to make way for his elect. You got to trust. It doesn't matter, family. Even he said, if you die in my name, I'll give you the first resurrection. Family, the Lord will raise you up. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, will raise you up first. You're going to be going into the chariot before the rest of us. Lord willing. So that CHIP that they are bringing, it is a no-no for you. We are here to warn you again and again and again and again. We're going to bring it out. We are here to warn you. That's what the shepherds, what is the, listen, we have the best shepherd, the good shepherd, which was Yahweh Shai. And he has shepherds here looking after the flock. It wasn't by an accident. <clears throat> so we are here to warn you. This is not your kingdom. This kingdom is about to pass away. Your kingdom is the next to follow. The righteous kingdom, the everlasting kingdom. That's what you want to be part of. So family, we will leave it there. It says here, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's right. Why would you want to forward your life in this wicked kingdom? What, what is the point? If you want to pay your mortgage, you want to go and take the CHIP? No. Let them take the house. Find somewhere else. The Lord is going to direct you. The Lord is going to lead you. Hey, the time that we are coming, family say you have to be like pilgrims. Hey, everything that you have, have start 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 thinking you are about to lose everything. You see, but remember, the Lord said, if you trying to save your life on this end, you're gonna lose it. Don't put too much stock in this place. No. Just trust in the Lord. Let the Lord guide you. He said he is going to deliver us. He says, I will be your guide. Actually, I might as well finish that. Let me finish with this. He says, I will be your God. Your God. I will lead you. Let's go to the book of 2 Ezra. I think it's 16. 2 Ezra is 16. 16.74, I think it is. 16.74, is this? Um... Yes, listen to this. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, mm -hmm. says the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Listen to this. But I will deliver you from the sin. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high power is your guide. Are you listening? It says, neither doubt. Jacob, trouble, we're all going to go through it. But he's going to be our guide, family. And I will leave it there. So, family, it has been an amazing response from Russia. So, we're going to get this. This this, this, this is breaking news, family. It's breaking news. So, we see how NATO and America respond. So, we are praying that the Lord, he promised he's going to keep us through it. And family, we want this thing to escalate. We want the third, the third world war. We want them to bring the chip because family, the Lord is going to raise the standard. We want to see the miracle, the power that our Yahweh is about to show on this planet. We want to go home. We want our kingdom. We want to see the king coming in his glory. That's the good news, family. Yeah, so Russia revenge for Makivka strike on air on French TV, te television. It says 100 dead Ukrainians and NATO advisors. Ukrainians and NATO advisors, which is CIA, MIS, uh, sorry, MI6, they're all in there. You know, this is war. It's against, uh, it's the whole West against Russia. But they're going to lose badly because the, the Lord Yahweh has special plans for Russia. Russia, uh, Ezekiel 38 hasn't been fulfilled yet. It's going to be fulfilled. That's coming. So Russia is going to be a guard unto these nations to take down Babylon the Great. America, the kingdom is coming to an end. This empire, this wicked empire that colonized the entire world, destroyed the world, stole, raped. Family, no truth in these people. Yahweh, the Lord, is about to take them down. That's right. The Lord is about to take them down and establish a righteous kingdom on this planet. All praise to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rukakodai, Shalom, beloved, Shalom.